As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by a series of cones and markers. And it just so happens that the markers that I've laid out lay out the actual dimensions of the tennis courts, or more specifically, the space between the baseline and the service line. If you're like me and you don't have access to a tennis court at the moment, then you can quite simply mark the area out that we're going to use for these agility-based intervals. The grid itself is 8.2 meters by 5.5 meters. Now, if you don't have access to any form of, of tape measure or meter rule, then you can quite simply mark it out with steps. It's not as accurate, but it's gonna be close enough for what we're trying to do here. For me, taking relatively small to average steps, this width here is going to be around about seven steps, whereas the represented baseline behind me is currently 11 steps. The fan drill is a great drill to help develop fitness, change of direction skill, and agility. The aim of this drill is to quite simply start with five objects at your start position, the center of the baseline. From here, as the name suggests, like a fan, you're going to run out in different directions and place the object on the relevant marker or cone before returning each time to the start position. So I have my five objects and I have my grid in front of me. The first is gonna be out to the left. We're gonna to start to the left and work our way to the right. So from here, we're gonna pick up our object. Because we're moving laterally, it's going to be a crossover shuffle, place, crossover shuffle, pick up our second object. Now these three cones are much sharper change of direction. So we're not necessarily going to have to cross over as our first step. We might want to split and run out to the cone. This time we're gonna back pedal, run straight ahead. Back pedal, again, forwards run, a back pedal, and then finally, because we're going laterally, crossover shuffle, crossover shuffle. Of course, as you can see, each repetition, I'm continuously facing the net, as is very important for the sport of tennis.